Minneapolis. Anthony Edwards led the way with 27 points as the Minnesota Timberwolves dominated the Denver Nuggets with a 115-70 victory, forcing a Game 7 in their playoff matchup. The 45-point win marked the largest victory against a defending champion in playoff history. Jaden McDaniels contributed 21 points and strong defense, while Mike Conley added 13 points in his return from injury. Big men Rudy Gobert, Carl Anthony Towns, and Naz Reed combined for 38 rebounds to limit NBA MVP Nikola Jokic to 22 points. The decisive Game 7 will take place in Denver on Sunday. Nuggets coach Michael Malone acknowledged the Timberwolves' dominance, stating, They hit us first, they hit us second, and they hit us third. Despite the significant loss, history shows that teams rebound from blowout defeats, with three of the previous four teams winning Game 7 after losing by 30 or more points in Game 6. Jamal Murray struggled with just 10 points for the Nuggets, who were outscored by the Wolves' bench 36-9. The Timberwolves reserves orchestrated a 24-0 run in the fourth quarter, extending their lead to 49 points. Edwards and McDaniels displayed stellar performances, with Edwards showcasing his determination and leadership on the court. The Wolves' defense held the Nuggets to 14 points in the first quarter, showcasing a strong defensive effort. Denver aims to regroup for Game 7 and secure a spot in the Western Conference Finals. Nikola Jokic's standout performances have propelled the Nuggets, with Jokic scoring 40 points in Game 5 and accumulating 99 points in the past three games. Timberwolves guard Anthony Edwards praised Jokic's skills, acknowledging his impact on the series. The Timberwolves must devise a strategy to contain Jokic and force a decisive Game 7. Rudy Gobert emphasized the importance of maintaining a positive mindset and resilience against Jokic's exceptional abilities. Coach Michael Malone commended his team's effort in staging a comeback in the series, highlighting their commitment and teamwork. The Nuggets look to close out the series in Minnesota and advance to the Western Conference Finals.